Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tom back here with another video, another next gen gameplay. This one being with Diamond David Robinson. Now, before we go any further, I do want to give a huge shout out to my guy Woozy for letting me hop on his account. I'm not gonna lock it in, he can if he wants. Let me hop on his account to do Diamond David Robinson gameplay. Now, he's going for just over 100k right now, so if you can get him for right around that 100k price point. That's what he's going for right now. now. I'm here to tell you guys whether he's worth that price or not. Looking at D-Rob here, 7'1", 235 pounds, 77, three balls, 75 driving duck. Can't handle the ball. Does come with 94 interior defense, 72 perimeter defense, which is decent enough, 85 block. Upper 80s rebounding, 76 speed, 72 lateral quickness. Very, very, very elite speed and lateral quickness for a guy who is 7'1". Looking at his driving duck and standing dunk tendencies, which are both 90. Look at his defensive tendos. Does have an 89 contest, 89 block shot, which are super, super good as well. Five Hall of Fame badges, post spin technician, drop step, rim protector, post move, lockdown, and ties defender. 23 goals, including catch and shoot, fearless finisher, brick wall, putback boss, heat seeker, lob city finisher, box defensive leader, hard crusher, intimidator, hook specialist, rebound chaser, worm. Has Rise Up, which is an interesting badge. Blinders, which I think Steady Shooter turned into Blinders, which Blinders is a great badge. Steady Shooter is not. Also has Pro Touch Set Shooter. So, you know, when you take your time before shooting, you're going to see an increase of makes. Does have a Hot Zone Hunter, Clutch Defender, and Hot Stopper. Break Starter Relay Passer on Silver with Bronze Clamps. Now, his clamps can't be upgraded, but looking at the badge, you can give him Corner Specialist. Highlight Film, Pickpocket, Pick Dodger, Interceptor. Pogo Stick, uh, Trapper, Anti-Freeze. Just a ton of whatever badge you basically want. Not whatever badge, but he can get a lot of different badges, including the Dead Eyes, the Highlight Film, uh, Interceptor. Those are the main ones, especially Corner Specialist, that I would look to apply to David Robinson. Now, looking at his badge spots, he does have five, which is very, very important as well. So when you compare David Robinson to some of the other bigs in the game, his badge count is up there. It's right where it needs to be. Looking at David Robinson here, obviously, is he's not going to be able to dribble that well. And he doesn't have hot spots from behind the arc. But it all comes down to how his release is. And on next gen, it feels weird. That's that's the best way I can, I can describe my first couple shots with him. It feels weird. Not that it's not smooth. It just feels like it takes longer to develop than I, than I might hope. That's really it. Not to say he won't be knocked down. Because I expect D-Rob to be knocked down. But from like the corner right here... It looks like his mid-range jumper is quicker than from three. For whatever reason, he was like, from there, it's a lot quicker than from three. And I don't know if it's if it's in the catch and shoot situation or what it is. Let's hold on to the ball a little bit and then see. It's just from three, I feel like it takes him longer to, to get that release timing. From mid-range, I feel like it's just a little bit quicker. And I don't know the reasoning for that. Maybe it's just from the corner compared to like the top of the key or whatever. But no doubt about it, D-Rob's release is butter. Like, He's only got a 77-3 right now. I don't even have D'Antonio as my coach right now. And look at the way he is shooting the ball. It is absolutely ridiculous that a guy with a 77-3 ball is shooting the ball like David Robinson is right now. That shouldn't happen. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous to me. Let's see how fast he feels. Let's just run the court with D-Rob. I'm not going to lie. At 7 feet 1, David Robinson might be a problem. Like when I say it, believe it, because he truly might be a might be a big problem for defenses and and offenses too. Like he's going to be good both on the defensive end and offensive end. As far as two way centers are concerned, I firmly do believe he is going to be one of the top in the game. Let's go another next gen gameplay with David Robinson. I, okay, I I just gotta remember. I like how automatically it goes into this little five out. I didn't even have to call it freelance. It oh, just oh, automatically oh. did it. Oh my word. We might have a new best. I'm not going to say best center in the game, but we might have something special in David Robinson. All right, come here. Toasty. Look at David Robinson drop step and spin moving to the rim. He is moving and grooving early on in this game. And again, I just got to get used to the defensive movement. That's really my biggest thing. Hey, Steph, go crazy. Back to David Robinson. Early, that's me. That's my fault. Yep, it's me. I'm, at least I know where I'm at with David Robinson. That's the one thing I like about it. Is it's not, I'm in, I'm not even inconsistent with him. I just, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to be consistent with him because I could tell that that was early. And with with this with his three ball, you got to be precise with it. You're not going to be able to to you know 
And the green window is not going to be that big with this David Robinson card. Back to him, though. Green. Yep, automatic. When you get a good release, it is going to be green nearly every single time. Steph Curry is getting hacked. He is tired. Come here, D-Rob. Into D-Rob. Easy slam for the D-Robski. Up to 10 early points in the game. Don't throw that. Yup, Steph's there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No way I smoked it. Grant Hill has one of the best releases in the game. There's just no way I smoked it. Are we going to get another quit here? We are. Are we going to get another loss for winning a game? Or is 2K finally going to give me a win? We'll see. Hey, they gave me a win. There we go. We are moving and grooving. As you guys saw, David Robinson went crazy in that unlimited game. We saw what David Robinson did in that short unlimited game. Let's see if he can transfer that play style in Triple Threat Online. Okay, this guy's got a good team. I see what he's got here. Look at that triple threat court. The one thing he doesn't got, doesn't have is David Robinson, though. You can have a great team, but if, Oh, that's a good contest, low-key. The one thing I will say is if you don't green with David Robinson, he's probably not going to make that many whites. His release is good, and... Oh, my gosh. Can we guard somebody? Like, why are you just standing back? I hate that. Guard somebody. Let's see. Here we go. Back to him. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Where are you closing out, my boy? Yup. Swim through him. Drop step him. Yup. Look at D-Rob. Easy slam. And they zoomed in on it to let him know. Quick pop. Chill, David. Come on. Yup. Stay home on David. You should have. You should have stayed home because I'm not going to miss that many wide open shots with David Robinson. That's an open. This game is bad. Oh, yeah, D-Rob. Oh, yeah, D-Rob. Oh, yeah, D-Rob. Hey, look at David Robinson to the cup. Easy dunk for D-Rob. Oh, yeah. Good defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. It's a line, so I'm not worried about that. Good defense. You love to see the defense. You love to see it. Look at D-Rob. Fine. Five seconds. Can y'all give me one stop? No snatches. That's good defense. Four, D-Rob. Yup, you know what it is. Oh, yeah, D-Rob. Chill. Chill. That's way too deep. Why are you so deep, David Robinson? Look at how bright it is. Like, this court is so, so bright. Oh, my word. He just blew right by him. Walk back. Look at the pressure that, that Damian Lillard puts on the defense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's about to be rough for my opponent now. Quit jumping. Just stay home, my boy. Oh, my Lord. Look at D-Rob. Yo, hello? Nice try, my boy. Nice try. David Robinson in the lane. Hop step in for an easy slam dunk. He's doing it all. Like, he is the only bright spot on my team so far in this game. Everybody else has just not been as advertised. Dame, I know you're not good at defense. But good thing David Robinson is there to save you, man. D-Rob's really got to do it all on both ends of the court. Crossover. Hey. Hey. Look at him. He's got to do it all on both ends of the court. He's got 12 points. He's got four rebounds. He's got a block. He's got a steal. What more do you need from David Robinson? Mm, that's tough. I don't know how that's not green. David Robinson showing his pick and pop game on display that's me yep get it to him get it to the big fella running the floor reverse slam no threes we win y'all that's fine show me it's an early with alonzo that's not gonna work oh yeah run the floor d-rob nobody stops you get it to him get it to the big fella get it to the big fella slamming it to end the game look at the final box score. what do you want 18 points five rebounds two steals one block nine to 12 from the field oh one from deep what more could you want out of David Robinson? Guys, I don't know what else I need to say. What else I need to do? The fact that this David Robinson here is going for 100,000 MT is blasphemy. Go pick up a David Robinson. 
He is a top three center in the game and is just absolutely incredible. Trust me, you guys are going to want this card. That's all I can say. He's a top three center in the game that is going for that cheap. Make sure to go pick up D-Rob. Guys, comment your thoughts on D-Rob D -Rob down below. What are your opinions on him? 7-1, great speed, lateral quickness, good release, greens, everything. Make sure to go pick up the card. There's honestly no excuse to not pick him up. He is so, so elite. But guys, that is going to wrap it up. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.